Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Are you working towards getting your permanent residence in Canada and struggling with the high cutoff score? Or maybe you're planning to study in Canada and are concerned, how can you ensure that your study permit gets approved? Now, the easiest way to ensure that you're able to increase your overall score to get permanent residence in Canada or to get approved for study permit is to have a high score in your IELTS examination. Now, whether you are planning for your IELTS general examination or your IELTS academic, a lot of people end up spending hundreds of dollars to buy courses, get mock tests, or take classes. However, a lot of these courses are not really effective or a lot of these mock tests sometimes are not up to the IELTS standard. So in today's video, I'm here to tell you that you don't need to spend any money to get your IELTS study materials. There are a lot of great free resources that are up to the IELTS standard and it can really help you get your dream score. I personally used all of these resources and it helped me get a band 8.5 in my IELTS general and band 8 in my IELTS academy. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my secret tools that helped me get my dream score. In this video, Video, we'll be discussing about what are the best YouTube channels that can help you prepare for your IELTS, which websites will give you free resources, tips, and sample essays and letters that you can use for your own practice. We'll also be talking about apps that you can use and podcasts that you can listen to to improve your English for IELTS examination. And once you've done all of this, I will also be sharing where can you get free IELTS mock test paper that you can give these practice exams and then understand where you're standing, what is your score and what you can do to improve your overall score. And again, like I shared, all the resources that I'll be talking about are completely free of cost. So make sure to stay till the end of this video so that you are aware of all these free resources that you can use to get your dream score. But before we start this, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm really grateful for all the love that you guys have been showing me on this channel. And when you subscribe or you leave a comment, that really is the highlight of my day. My name is Sophia and I make videos every week on how you can move to Canada, how you can build a successful life for yourself in Canada and about life in Canada in general. So now let's get started. Now the first thing that I'll be talking about are the YouTube channels that you can use to prepare for your IELTS examination. In today's world, we all consume content better when it's in the video format or it's always more interesting to watch a YouTube video than to go through an academic book. This is what I did personally as well because whenever I was opening one of the IELTS books, I used to doze off to sleep. So instead, I watched YouTube videos that helped me develop my skills. So the first channel that I will highly, highly recommend is E2 IELTS. This channel provides comprehensive lessons on all IELTS components, including listening, reading, writing, and speaking. The lessons are beautifully designed to be engaging and easy to understand. So it's a great resource for both beginners and advanced learners. I personally followed all the tips and tricks that they shared in their video, and it really came Came very handy especially when it comes to my writing. I got an 8.5 in my writing just by following the tips and tricks that they shared in their videos. My second favorite channel for IELTS is Fast Track IELTS. The channel offers quick tips and strategies to speed up your IELTS learning. The channel really focuses on providing practical advice and techniques to help you improve your IELTS score. I really like how Asia, who is the content creator, breaks down things in a very simple format. So even if you are not an advanced user of English, it's really easy for you to understand. And even her tips and tricks were very helpful. My third recommendation is the channel IELTS Liz. This channel is run by Liz, who is an experienced IELTS teacher, and she provides insider insights into the entire IELTS examination. The channel offers a wide range of resources, including lessons on common mistakes to avoid, tips for each section, and practice exercises. Personally, I prefer the content delivery of E2 IELTS and Fast Track IELTS a little more as compared to Liz, because as you must have noticed, I'm someone who's very high energy. So I find Liz very calm and very soft. And at times that does get a little boring for me. However, I love her content. She really Really knows what she's talking about and the channel is really helpful. The fourth channel that I would like to recommend is Learn with Sam and Ash. This channel
channel adds a sprinkle of fun to serious study sessions. Sam and Ash provide engaging lessons on various IELTS topics, making learning enjoyable and less stressful. So now that you know what YouTube channels to follow, uh, the next thing that we will discuss are what are the websites that provide free resources for IELTS preparation and are up to the standard of the IELTS examination. To begin with, I really like the website IELTSBuddy.com. This website offers a wide range of practice questions and answers, helping you understand the format of the IELTS exam and also to practice your skills. My second recommendation would be bestmytest.com. Bestmytest.com provides tailored practice tests that help you identify your strengths and weakness, like what are the areas that you need to work on. My third recommendation will be engvid.com. This website offers interactive English lessons, making learning more engaging. The website offers a wide range of topics, including grammar, vocab, pronunciation, and more. All these websites also have a lot Lot of great sample essays and letters that you can go through to understand how you need to structure your essay or your letter to score higher in your IELTS examination. My last recommendation will be the website called IELTSmaterial.com. This website is a goldmine for study materials and tips. It offers a wide range of resources, including practice tests, sample essays, and vocabulary lists. Now, apart from websites, if you also want to have an app on your phone that can help you practice for your IELTS exam when you're traveling or getting bored, the app that I highly recommend is the IELTS Prep app by British Council. The app provides free practice tests and gives you instant score feedback so that you can understand where you are standing and what you need to do to achieve your dream band in IELTS. Now coming to what are the books that you can use to prepare for your IELTS examination. Now, like I said, everything I'll be discussing in this video are stuff that you can get free of cost, especially if you are in Canada all these books are available in the Toronto Public Library. So you can easily go to the Toronto Public Library website if you are in the GTA region and order the books to the library branch closest to your home. And once they are there, you will receive an email and you can just go and collect it free of cost. I myself did that for my eyes general. All the books I ordered through the library and I did not have to pay anything. Starting with the first book, of course, is the Cambridge IELTS exam series. They have different versions, both for general and academic IELTS examination. So whichever one you're planning to give, ensure that you're getting that book. This book is considered the Bible of IELTS prep examination. It has tips on how you can solve different types of questions along with a lot of great sample practice tests. Now, if you are someone who struggles with your grammar, grammar, I believe, is like the foundation of the English language. So if you've not got the rules of grammar correctly, it will be very difficult for you to score high on your IELTS exam. So the best book that I recommend to improve your grammar, especially for the IELTS examination, is English Grammar by Raymond Murphy. It covers a wide range of topics, explains the rules of grammar very clearly with example, including tenses that a lot of us struggle with. Now, if you are someone who feels that you need to work on your vocabulary, you need to learn new words, or you need to know advanced words, to get that extra bump in your IELTS score. The book that I highly recommend is the Cambridge Vocabulary for IELTS. What I really love about this book is that it contains useful vocabulary on a wide range of topics that usually appear in your IELTS examination. So if you want to improve your vocabulary for your IELTS exam, this is the one that you should get. The next free resource that I would like to talk about are podcasts. Now, podcasts can really help you improve your IELTS score because when you're listening to native English speakers, it really helps you understand the accent better, which is going to help you on the day of examination. Secondly, we all know how convenient podcasts are. Like you can just switch on a podcast while you're cooking, cleaning your house, driving to work, or maybe working out in the gym. Furthermore, a lot of times people struggle in the writing section of the IELTS exam because they do not have enough knowledge about the topic they end up spending too much they end up spending too much time thinking about what they should write and then they do not have time left to actually structure their essay properly or to display their range in vocabulary or their ability to structure different types of sentences thus i'll also be sharing some of the podcasts that really help you get more knowledge about what's happening around the world it will really help you to form your opinion and express it when you hear these speakers discuss social causes 
And a lot of these topics discussed in these podcasts turn up in your IELTS essay examination. So the first podcast that I would recommend is BBC Radio's 6-Minute English and 6-Minute Vocabulary. These podcasts are great for improving your vocabulary and to improve your listening skills. And what I find most convenient is that each episode is only 6 minutes long. So even if you have a very busy schedule, you can still fit these podcasts in your day-to-day -day routine. My second recommendation will be a podcast called Future Tense. This podcast explores new ideas and trends in technology and culture and thus helps you to form your opinion or gain awareness on a variety of topics that you may actually end up getting in your IELTS writing examination. My third recommendation is a podcast called All in the Mind. This podcast explores topics related to mental health and psychology. The conversations or the topics discussed in this podcast will really help you to provide interesting content in your IELTS speaking or writing examination. And not only that, the vocabulary that they use in this podcast will really help you learn a lot of new words as well. Last but definitely not the least, the fourth podcast that I recommend is called Stuff You Should Know. This podcast covers a wide range of topics which really helps you improve your overall general knowledge, your awareness about different social and economical topics. For example, one of the topics that I had heard on this podcast was very closely related to the IELTS essay topic that I had got. So it really became quite easy for me because a lot of pointers that I had heard in this podcast, I was able to use them in my writing tasks. So I really didn't have to spend that much time thinking what points should I write. I just focused on the quality of my essay. So now that you've got all the resources to prepare yourself for the IELTS examination, to understand where exactly you are standing, it is also important to give IELTS practice tests. Now, when it comes to practice tests, there are a lot of free practice tests available online, but sometimes all of them are not up to the IELTS standards. So if you're doing an easier exam, you might think, oh, it was quite easy and I'll easily be able to get a band aid. But when you go on the day of the exam, you may see that the difficulty level is so much higher. I always recommend that when you're doing practice tests, do it from general so that is why I always recommend that when you're doing practice tests, do it from genuine IELTS recommended websites. So my first recommendation would be IELTS.org. This is the official IELTS website and it offers authentic practice tests that mirror the actual exam. These tests are crucial for getting a real feel of the exam's format and the time constraints that you may have on the day of the exam. My second recommendation to do practice tests will be the IDP website. IDP also provides you practice tests, thus giving you more opportunities to practice under each exam condition. And that was it, all the free resources that you need for your IELTS examination. If you use all these resources, I swear you don't need anything else to prepare for your IELTS exam or to get your dream score. I really hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, do let me know in the comment section below. And also, if you know other free resources that can be helpful for people preparing for the IELTS examination, do let me know in the comment section below that other people can benefit from your experience and knowledge too. And share this with your friends or family members who are currently preparing or planning to prepare for the IELTS exam and thank you so much for watching till the very end before you go don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel see you in my next video